Hey Brick fans, I'm Dave and today I've got something really exciting to share with you. For the past five years, I've been working on a book. I know that you come here to see my videos, but I think that you're all really going to like this book that I've been working on. It is called The Lego Animation Book. And as the title suggests, it tells you everything you need to know about how to make your own Lego movies. Those of you who are longtime fans of my channel will remember my animated web series, The Nightly News at Nine. So over the years, I've gotten lots of requests of people asking me to show how to make Lego animation. Um, I thought about doing a video series, but there's just so much information um, to convey about how to make Lego animation that I thought it would work better as a book. About five years ago, my friend David Pagano and I got together, and David Pagano is another amazing Lego animator, and we decided to start working on a book showing people how to make Lego animation. I've been making movies using Lego bricks for over 20 years. Uh, when I was about eight years old, uh, my family got a video camera. It was one of those old school video cameras where you actually had to put like a cassette tape into it uh, in order to film something. Most of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, but the first thing I did when my family got that camera was put some Lego bricks in front of the camera and start moving them around with my hands and trying to tell stories. So I really wrote this book for my eight-year-old self or other people out there who have that same interest in getting into filmmaking but don't really know where to start, um, whether you're an eight-year-old YouTuber or a 45-year-old AFOL. The Lego Animation Book is on shelves now. Uh, there's a link in the description where you can buy the book on Amazon or add it to a wish list if you're looking for gift ideas for the upcoming holidays. So now let's take a quick look inside the Lego Animation Book. So one of the first things I wanted to show is uh, both myself and my co-author have little Lego versions of ourselves. So uh, that's me and that's David Pagano and our little characters pop up throughout the book with little helpful tips and silly puns. Um, we also have these characters, Anna and Matt. Um, they're the stars of the movie, The Magic Picnic, uh, which is an animation David and I will be releasing soon. Um, and they show up throughout the book kind of demonstrating a lot of the different techniques. Um, so this first chapter, chapter one, really talks about um, the first time you're making a Lego animation, what are the bare minimum materials you need to make. So it really shows you what you need to get and then takes you through step one, step two, exactly how to set up and make your very first Lego animation. So if you've never made a Lego animation before, you start in chapter one, you'll learn all you need to know. Uh, then in chapter two, we really talk about all the different ways that you can manipulate the minifigure. Um, most people who make Lego animations focus on minifigures, so I really like this diagram we did here, which shows like all the different ways legs and arms can move, um, and the next pages, it's all about different ways you can move minifigures, culminating in the animation uh, walk cycle. So that's a big thing lots of people ask about, is how to actually make a minifigure walk. So we take you through that step by step. Moving on to chapter three, um, this one is one that my co-author David Pagano really spent a lot of time on just getting through the principles of how to make a good animation. Um, so things like exaggeration, squash and stretch, um, arcs, all the things that apply to any animation you're making and then talking about Lego specific examples of how to do them. In chapter four, we get into different ways that you want to build with Lego bricks to make things stable and sturdy for animation. So here's a fun little vignette of my uh, character, uh, my minifigure, knocking over my whole set as I'm animating. In chapter five, we talk about building, but in different scales. Um, one of the cool things in this chapter is that we've actually got building instructions that show you how to build a really highly articulated uh, puppet to use in your animations. Those of you who are familiar with David Pagano's work may recognize this character here from films like Playback and Country Building. Um, and now you can follow the instructions and have your own Pagano puppet, uh, like I do. Uh, I'm really excited to use that in an animation in the future. Uh, so lots of cool building instructions and other things about scale. In chapter six, we really take you through all the things you need to know about uh, different equipment for animation. So one of the questions I get asked most often about um, 
making films is what kind of equipment I use. What camera do I use? What software do I use? And that's really what chapter six is all about. We take you through every different type of camera, the pros, the cons, how to set them up, how to do lighting, um, all the different equipment that you could possibly need to make a Lego animation. So in chapter seven, we get into the creative process. So this really goes into, okay, how do you come up with the idea for a film? How do you take it from idea to completion? So things like brainstorming, uh, writing a script, doing storyboarding, um, all sorts of uh, cool tips and tricks like that. Then in chapter eight, we talk about cinematography and production. So this is really about how to set up your camera, how to do shots, how to do camera movements, how to do lighting for your films. Um, again, taking you step by step with lots of different examples of how to do things. Every page in this book has some kind of photo or illustration in it. Uh, Lego animation being a visual medium, we really wanted to show not tell in a lot of instances in this book. And last but not least, the last chapter in this book is about post-production. So that's all about editing, recording sound, um, all the kind of other things that are less connected to Legos and more just for filmmaking in general. But again, we're using the Magic Picnic, Anna and Matt to kind of show off all those different possibilities uh, throughout the post-production process. Um, and we even get into things like sharing your film online, entering contests, and things like that. So that is the whole book. Now you've read it. But if you actually want to read this in normal speed and not as I flip through the pages, of course you can go pick this up in your local bookstore or on Amazon.com. So in conjunction with the LEGO Animation book, I'm doing a little bit of a book tour. So I've got a few events coming up in the Chicagoland area and I'll be adding more events around the country in 2017. So if you want to come meet me and get your copy of the Lego Animation book, uh, you can see me at the Chicago Toy and Game Fair on November 19th and November 20th. In addition to my booth, there will be dozens of other uh, toy companies and game companies showing off their products and you can er play test them early. So the Chicago Toy and Game Fair is going to be a really fun event, um, a great family weekend event. After that, on December 10th, I'll be doing a signing and a presentation at the Brick Loot Retail Store. Um, you may remember that I did a review of the Brick Loot box um, a couple years ago. Well, now Brick Loot has an actual store here in the Chicagoland area, so I'm super excited to be partnering with them for my second signing. The third event I'm going to be doing is at a bookstore called The Book Seller. It's a pun. It's seller like a basement, but it's also a place that sells books, so I like silly puns. Uh, so that's going to be on January 7th. And then the fourth event that I have booked right now is up in Evanston, Illinois, and it's at the bookstore Book Ends and Beginnings, and that will be on January 14th. For more details about all of these events and future events, check out brick101.com events or click the link in the description of this video.